Welcome back everybody. Today, here we are in the shop. We are going to be yet again working on the Mud Panda, aka Battle Van, aka Rossi Toyota Previa. Today we are installing massive light bars. It's kind of big. We're putting three of these on, putting one on the front of the roof rack and then one on each side of the roof rack. And then that's maybe it. I know Zach is coming later today to review a car. I've got my friends here. I'm helping him work on his uh, Accord because he crashed it. My neighbor might bring over his Shelby Cobra that's supercharged because uh, there's some noise that he wants to check out on my lift. I don't really know. So we'll play it by ear, but we're going to start off by installing these light bars. I want to give a huge thanks to Oxbeam for sending me out these light bars. If you guys need anything lighting related, headlights, light bulbs, light bars, light pods, Check out Oxbeam. I've got their lights on every single car. I've got them in the, the bus, I've got them in the Rally Miata, I've got them in the Blue Miata, and I've got them now on the Toyota Previa. I will have them on the new build too, soon. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and install these. I've got two 50 inch ones and one 42 inch one. So overkill, but it'll look cool. So all three of the light bars are on. We got two little buns right here. Left one turns on the left light bar. And the right one turns on the other two light bars. Holy shit. That is so freaking bright. And there's the one over there as well. So everything works. Nice. I love these lights too, right here. Boom, boom. So much light, jeez. It's not at all necessary, but it's pretty cool. The roof rack looks so much better with some lights up there now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of wire this in a little bit more permanently, zip tie some things, and then we're all good. Everything on it is finished. It's nighttime outside, so we're gonna test these lights. Why 
stars yet though. It's a star! It's a moon! Oh wait, it's Caleb's new lights on the panda. Panda. Mud panda. He calls it mud panda. Jesus. It's like a little sun! Look, I can just like use this as lighting for the shop. Look. It's brighter than your light shots. Light shots. Shots light. It's so dope. Look at that. It is pretty cool, yeah. I, I think that's awesome. We got three way oversized light bars on the top of the battle van, or the, the mud panda. Uh, completely unnecessary, but they look awesome. When I was driving it, when it was on, oh, thanks Pasha. Pasha's sweeping the shop, so thank you. Thank you to Pasha right over, over, over there. When I was driving with the light bars on, I felt like just like a, just like a little star driving down the road. Like I just lit up the entire area. It was hilarious. You guys know what that means. The battle van is ready to off-road as you saw. It's running, it's driving. I'm like kind of starting to like this thing now. Like just looking at it. I'm sorry, can we like just flash back to when we first bought this thing? Like sure, it's kind of a shitty Previa. Sure, nobody likes this build, but look at it now. If you guys like this build, give it, give it a like. Give the video a like, cheer me up. Poor Mud Panda gets so much hate. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Tell me why, etc, etc. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, I'm on my throne, my, my, my minivan throne. Weird. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the short video, but tomorrow we are going rally crossing. So, yay. And then we're gonna off-road, and then the new project. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, bye-bye.